Hi everyone, it's Zach with Pounter Research. We get cool new use cases out for Ukraine from Pounter's AIP bootcamp with very public user-facing use cases, actually. I'm not saying there are B2C, of course, but one may even intrigue and kin to the life app example I used before, as well as a new trailer released by Pounter today. But first, here we've got Pounter running bootcamps on Ukraine and this government focus here taking place with 32 participants from the Ministry of Digital Transformation, Ministry of Education and Science, and then TAPAS, otherwise known as Transparency and Accountability, and public administration and services. So very high profile kind of users for Pounter over the past couple of years. And these prototypes at the bootcamp were produced just in only a couple of days alongside Pounter engineers, which is kind of that zero to use case sign here. But either way for Ukraine, the first use case, which I'm not surprised at all for is the feedback services. With artificial intelligence, this is kind of the main use case a lot of people see at least at the forefront, but which is making sense of a bunch of data and grouping them together here on the back end. There's already a lot of machine learning techniques addressing this actually, once that I've even worked on myself, like sentiment analysis, which kind of groups words together, positive, negative, neutral, or other spectrums you're trying to figure out. But here it's the same kind of idea with user feedback by topics on what should be improved upon. Now, I'm assuming this is in specific use case for the DS team and their kind of services that they provide. So it's cool that Pouncer provides this infrastructure for them to actually build their own kind of specific criteria versus say building from scratch or relying on a consultant or getting an out of the box kind of product that might not meet all your needs. Then the more interesting use case that they point out too is one similar to the life app example that I talked about a long time ago, but they specifically talk about parents to analyze how their kids are doing as students. So the obvious stuff here is like how successful they're doing with different subjects here, and then also recommendations and what they're having difficulty with, as well as improving learning outcomes. So this is probably one of the most public facing use cases that I can think of, although I'd assume it'll be interfaced as a Ministry of Education app, but some may come to know this is actually powered by Pounder in the back end, and other institutions may take this this into account. I mean, I could see for myself, at least universities trying something like this, maybe trying to meet student outcome goals using something like this, not necessarily for parents to track, but for administrators to see certain courses, professors, class time, seasonality, or even just individual characteristics about certain student populations and how it can affect performance or probably more important to them getting tuition dollars. But there's pretty much endless possibilities here that are related to this kind of use case, but it's cool to see Ukraine implementing Pounder in these new fresh ways that we haven't seen from typical commercial customer clients that are optimizing their businesses. Then Pounter released a trailer for the SCSPA Expo event that's taking place in Washington, D.C. in early May. The trailer highlights quotes from leadership from Alex Karp, Shyam Sankar, to even Akash Jain, who we get sometimes here and there, where the theme is around AI and the United States being proactive around their dominance, especially around the defense tech side of this technology. Now, these are all previous speaking events and quotes that they pushed together here, and they really want to hit the point home pulling that Alex Karp quote in regards to AI's importance in comparison to the Manhattan Project. So Pouncer will be a lead sponsor for the event, and we actually covered this news a while back in February when the event was getting announced originally. So we don't get new information per se, but shows that Pouncer is putting themselves out more and more to the forefront here, releasing this trailer, and wanting to push the importance of AI development in this space, especially for this event. But what are your thoughts on the news below? And I'll see you in the next video.